All right, well, welcome to another edition of 10 Minutes for Less. I'm here in Reno, Nevada with uh, San Francisco uh, Giants and President Grizzly's left-hander, Mike Kickham. Uh, Mike, uh, describe the, uh, the moment you got called up to San Francisco. What was the call like? Who called you? Um, yeah, it was very exciting. Uh, definitely a phone call that, uh, you know, you kind of you know, hope for, you know, uh, dream of, you know, all your life. Um, you know, I got the I got the phone call here in, in Colorado. Uh, Bobby Evans called me and uh, you know, gave me the good news, and you know, I was very excited. And I you was know, just very excited for the opportunity, and just uh, you know, just to get that experience and just to you know reach a, a lifelong dream of mine to you know to pitch in the to pitch in the major leagues. Did uh, he go over a long-term plan with you uh, about what you what he was going to have you do? With San Francisco, was it pretty much just a one-start thing, or did it really depend on how you pitched? Uh, I, th I think it just was kind of based on performance. Um, you know, with Bogey out, and you know, there's, I think they're just kind of trying some different things to, uh, you know, see who could fill that role. And uh, you know, I was, I was grateful to, for the opportunity. Um, you know, it didn't go as, as well as I had hoped, but uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great experience overall. And um, you know, I hope to get another one here before, before the season's over. Uh, you know, obviously, I was. You know, First phone call was, uh, was my girlfriend, and then the parents, and then my, uh, my twin brother I, I called as well. So uh, just kind of my my close close family there. Um, you know, I hadn't gone public at the time, so I just kind of kept it you know pretty pretty close. Uh, you know, just to the to, to my family, and uh, you know, then once it, it went public, then you know I got a flood of calls and, and text message support from everyone back home and. And all my friends and you know former teammates and stuff. So it was a very very cool thing. Was this something that you were expecting to maybe happen this year? Did you have it in the back of your mind as as a, a goal of yours? Oh uh, yeah, you know definitely yeah. You know um, you know being at the AAA level, the you know the big leagues is just you know that the next step up. So it's it's a very tangible thing. You know when when you're in the lower minors, it seems so far away. But when you're in AAA, it's you know it's just just right there. Um, so you know, yeah, that's you know something that you know you always you always hope for, uh, especially being in AAA. Um, you know, just kind of you know worked out with you know those all getting hurt. You know, it's very unfortunate. Um, you know, but it just worked out where they you know, called upon you know myself to you know get that opportunity, and you know now they got Godan going up there, so you yeah. know, he's he's done a great job. Uh, sure has. You know, filling filling that role. So. Uh, Talk about the the transition you had to make from Richmond last year uh, to Fresno this year. Uh, people talk a lot about how Richmond, the Eastern League, mm -hmm. is a pitcher's league, and uh, the, the PCL is, a, is definitely a hitter's league. Yeah. Um, how did how did that affect the way you pitched? Uh, no, not really. I just you know approach it the same way as I, as I always do. No matter you know the park, you just got you know keep the you do got to keep the ball down a little bit more at, at, at these parks. Um, you know, I kind of had the luxury of my first two years playing in, in Augusta and the, the South League, and then you know Richmond last year. And both were you know pretty much you know pitchers league, bigger parks, stuff like that. So this is my this is really my first experience um, you know pitching in you know kind of a hitters league. I, you know I was able to skip the Cal League. I know that's kind of notorious for, for yeah. being, a, being a hitters league. Um, but yeah, you know nothing much changed. I mean you know. Uh, you know, when you make mistakes, they you know just get hit a little harder up here. So you know, you really just got to you know focus on making your pitches and getting ahead early. And uh, you know, that's something that you know still you know working on. You know, throughout throughout the season, you know, the, you know I have my good starts. I'm getting ahead early and then really pounding the zone. Um, my fastball, and, you know, now it's a good start. So, you know, Talk specifically about your major league debut. Um, you said obviously it didn't go the way you would hope, but there had to have been some uh, some silver linings, some things that you really liked about the way you pitched. Uh, were there any anything like that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, the first inning went great. Um, you know, I, I made my pitches there. Got ahead. Was efficient, and uh, you know, I got out. So you know, uh, just 
you know, take that first inning, and you know, that gives me the confidence that you know I had the stuff to get outs up there. I just got to make, you know, just got to make my pitches. So uh, you know, and then you know, of course, you can learn stuff from from the bat. You know, uh, you know, once I start falling behind and you know, you know, missing my spots a little bit, that's that's when I start getting hurt and you know, stuff like that. So um, you know, all in all, it's a, you know, a great experience. Some, you know, it wasn't something I was down about. You know, obviously. I'd, like to still be up there in a perfect world, but you know, hey, that's that's life, and um, you know, I'm just gonna come down here. I know what I got to work on, and you know, I'll just continue to do that until I you know, get get another uh, chance up there. What what things are you working on specifically uh, back down with Fresno um, that you learned from when from your majors that you did? Um, just really fastball command, um, and just just a couple of mechanic things. You know, keep my front side closed. Um, and, you know, that's that's the biggest thing for me. I think is um, my my front side starts you know flying open. You know, I start missing arm side and and uh, falling behind there, leaving the ball up. So you know, that's one thing I'm really trying to work on. And just uh, you know, just you know, the way you go about things out there. You know, it's you know, even if you you know get a hit around early, you still got to you know. Stay in the game and you know keep it close, or you know still compete. You can't really just you know you can't just you know kind of fall apart. So you really just you know put that stuff behind you and uh, you know just attack the next guy. So you know you, know, you just got to take some knocks down here a little bit. You know yeah. that's, that'll happen in this league, and you, know, you just got to you know make the most of it and you know and get better. All right, Mike, I've got two more questions for you. Um, did you did you get any? Any words of encouragement, maybe from even even players with the Giants after the start? Who was who was most uh, who stuck with you? Um, yeah, yeah, I got to sit down and talk to to Vogie. Um, you know, just kind of he's out of commission and just kind of in the clubhouse. Um, so I got to sit down and talk to him about you know debuts and, and stuff like that. And um, you know, just everyone, you know, everyone just you know had encouraging words. You know, all the all the pitchers and stuff, and you know, so. It was, it was, that was, you know, pretty cool to get their support. Um, you know, so. Yeah. All right. And uh, you mentioned you're a twin. Uh, what are some What are some pros and cons of uh, of being a twin? Pros and cons of being a twin. Um, well, you have to get used to getting called by your twin's name. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I respond to both mine and, and his name. You know. um, uh, let's see. One of the positives, you always have someone to you know kind of compete against. You know, both uh, we both you know have the same hobbies, play the same sports, so you always had someone to shoot baskets with or, or play catch with. So you know that's that was kind of a positive. Um, you know, I, 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 I like being a twin. You know, I, I, I really enjoyed it. You know, I'm we're still very close. So we talk every day. Um, you know, I miss being around him, obviously, but. Uh, it's always fun to get back in the off season and spend some time together. Very cool. Well, this has been another edition of 10 Minutes or Less. Thanks so much for Mike for taking the time today. Thank you.